Somebody in the comments in my last video about my Kagama 4 asked about droop screws. And I wanted to address that comment. They asked about how do you adjust it. Um, I don't know if they were just talking about on this car or in general. So let me just go into why, what droop is. So what droop is, is it's how much the suspension sags when the car is lifted. So right now I've adjusted the droop on my Kagama already to be pretty level. There's a screw right there that you can adjust up and down. And if you lift the car up, that's the screw itself. So right now I got it pushed down. If I take a two millimeter here, you can see this screw is coming up. And now this should have considerable more droop on it when I lift the car up. So I was back out. And you can see it sagging more than the other side. That side is lower than that side. One reason why you might want to do that is because it impacts how your car handles. You know, um, too much droop can cause, you know, body roll and excessive body roll and, and making it unresponsive in corners and stuff like that. But then too little could result in like bad traction and 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 stuff like that too it, you know it doesn't have enough suspension travel to adapt to you know bumps and uneven terrain but another reason why i wanted to do this on this particular car i'm going to see if i can show you you can see that one side with the drew unadjust with the droop screw up that one side shakes a lot more than the other side and when i Go ahead and adjust it back to where I had it. All that shake that was in there is gone. So that's one of the big reasons why I adjusted the droop screws for this car.